Hey everybody, Troy from Troy Jackson Outdoors here along the canal with another YouTube video. This is a top five countdown of the top five bass I caught on the canal last year. Uh, you're gonna get a little bit of an intro, uh, the catch video, a release portion, and perhaps a discussion as well as the details on each catch. So stay tuned, number five coming up. All right, top bass number five from the canal. This is kind of fun because uh, I'd had something swirl at a spinnerbait as I made a pass by there. I couldn't tell if it was a strike or uh, maybe I'd spooked a carp or something, but fired the sinko at it a few times, nothing took it, uh, drifted by a little bit, ended up casting the spinnerbait back, and this was the result. Top bass number five. Something decent took a swipe in the right hand. I'm not sure if it was a bass or not. Just coming right under the surface. If I scared a carp or it's a big swirl. I know that much. Whatever it was, it missed. Hmm, that's intriguing. That's it. It was still there. It was still there. All right. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. Stay on there. All right. I assume that's what took that first swipe at it and missed it. But fortunately, he was still there. Came back and got it. Another pass through there. All right, that's a good one. All right. Yep, took a swipe at it once. Missed it. Came back through from the other direction and got it. Good, good, good. Nice fish. All right, so 18 inches and 215 on that one. Nice. He hit three once and then he uh, settled at 215, so I can't cheat on that ounce. 215 it is. Okay, so last year marked the first time I actually put a boat in the canal. So this is pretty instant feedback. Uh, upon launching the boat, probably half a dozen casts in, I got a hold of this one. Top bass, number four. Feels all right so far. Seen him. I have not seen him yet. That is okay. Yeah, he's gonna be a decent one. He will be a nice one. Come on, stay on there, buddy. Yeah. Getting the sun a little bit there, but well, that made it worth uh, bringing the boat. Nice. I don't know. What's he gonna go? Two something, maybe two, two twelve or so. Good one, cool. Well, that worked out all right. Three two on a spinner bait. That one will add to my top five here in the canal. See you later. Thanks, buddy. All right, for this next fish, I'm 10 minutes into my day and I got a three pounder in the boat already. Can't beat that. Uh, this one came on a spinnerbait. Four out of the five top five bass from the Hennepin Canal last year, in fact, came on a spinnerbait. So anytime you're hiking, biking, rowing, trolling on the canal, wise to have a spinnerbait tied on. Top bass, number three. So it feels pretty solid. I'm gonna set the hook on him. Oh. Yeah, he's a good one. He's a good one. Oh, pretty good. And he looks pretty good. Yep, and he is pretty good. That's a good start. First fish of the morning. Yeah, good, good, good. 
Well, that one's all right. That one, uh, 18 and a half inches and 3.4. That's a good start to the day. Spinnerbait. See you, buddy. All right, next up is the lone top five bass from the canal that did not come on a spinnerbait. This one came on a buzzbait. Always fun when they're hitting on top. Uh, sometimes they'll fool you, though. This one here uh, didn't make much of a commotion when it took the bait. But as soon as I set the hook and he decided to fight, I knew I had a good one. Top bass, number two. He's a good one. He's a good one. Yeah, he's a good one going under the boat. Stay on there, buddy. All right, slow down. Spin around, brother. Open up, open up. All right. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. It wasn't a very big strike. Oh, it's a pretty good fish. Not a very big strike. He'll go three something, I think. All right. All right, 736, uh, this one's 19 and a half and 3.5, one ounce shy of tying my all-time canal best bass. So that's a good one. Black buzzbait. All right, here we are, top bass of the year for the Hennepin Canal. This one came from one of my favorite pieces of structure, a beaver lodge or beaver feed bed. This one, I, I just saw there was a, a, a den up on the bank and a bunch of sticks and that, like a beaver lodge. Not actually a built-up beaver lodge, but uh, similar. And, and in that case, there's a bunch of debris out in the water, usually, too, where there's a feed bed, a bunch of uh, sticks and stuff like that. So I knew I had to make a few casts up in there, and sure enough, that's where this one lived. Top bass of the year from the Hennepin Canal. Be something right there because there's some debris. It's like a beaver uh, lodge almost. So that is another good one. Hang on there, buddy. Hang on there. No, there's sticks over there. I don't want to go over there. I don't want to go over there. Oh, get away from that oar, dude. Ah, oh, yep. There we go. Now we're talking. Yeah, there's some sticks up there like a beaver lodge up there nice 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 and another good one three five <laughs> uh. all right cool so that was three five it was up here amongst these scattered sticks there you know like a beaver and uh been up there, you know, not really a beaver lodge, there's a den of some sort up there, but uh, usually there's a fair amount of sticks out of ways in the water too, and apparently that's where he lived because uh, that's right where he hid, so cool. All right, that's a wrap on the top five bass from the Hennepin Canal from last year. Caught a lot of bass, caught some quality bass. Still looking for that elusive four-pounder, first four-pounder in my, oh, 18 months or so of fish in the Hennepin Canal. Maybe this year's the year. Haven't caught anything yet. Uh, made a few casts. I did check with Vegas the over-under uh, for the top five Hennepin Canal bass for Troy Jackson Outdoors. Uh, this year is only 12 pounds, 8.5 ounces. So I certainly think I can beat that. So I guess they're, uh, they're not very confident. So place your bets if you want, but uh, we'll see. Once I catch that first bass, uh, that's gonna be locked in. So here's to a good 2023. Talk to you later.